There was a time when the Walt Disney Company treated their geniuses, their legacy members, their mentors, their elder statesmen as if they were truly as wonderful and good as we know them to be, the kind of people who created the classics that we enjoyed all throughout our childhoods. But then that changed. Somewhere along the way, the Walt Disney Company decided to begin pandering to the new generation. And rather than listening to those who had paved the way before them, they began to fall prey to listening only to those who were green, just out of college, and ready to be mean to anybody who took them on. Today we're going to show you one great example of just how Disney lost its way by throwing away the folks who taught them the path once upon a time. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the WDW Pro channel. It is a joy every single time you join us and we mark it as an honor to spend our time with you. Today, we are talking about the people who deserve to be honored, specifically inside the Walt Disney Company. But something has happened in our society and even more so at the Walt Disney Company in which we are no longer respecting and honoring the people who have wisdom and knowledge and instead, we are simply falling prey to those who are fresh, fresh out of college, and they have actually very little knowledge of how the world truly works, or how to produce the amazing things that those who have been before them once did. Folks, we're here to share with you the story of Mark Hinn. You may not have heard of him before, but you will, I dare say, not forget him soon now, once you've heard the story. Let's start right away. All right, coming to us from Cartoon Brew. Animation legend Mark Hinn retires after 43-year run at Disney. This article is not attempting to um, out Disney on the way they have treated someone. And yet, within it, if you read it carefully, you'll notice what happens. So let's read together and we'll explain. This by Amid Amidi. Mark Hinn, 65, a key animator at Disney in the studio's modern era, retired from the company this week after 43 years. Hinn started his career at Disney in 1980 and amazingly never worked at another studio during his time. Quiet and unassuming, Hinn hasn't received as much attention as other Disney animation stars, but he has been deeply influential in defining the contemporary style of Disney animation and continuing the legacy of the studio's original nine old men crew of animators. He was known for being able to produce prodigious prodigious amounts of footage and for animating characters with sincerity, warmth, and restraint. He was known as the ladies' man around the studio, having supervised five female leads, more than any person in the history of the animation studio. Th those characters were Ariel, Belle, Jasmine, Mulan, and Tiana. What are we talking about? Well, he's the lead animator on those characters. It goes on to talk about more of his amazing career, including supervising young Simba in Lion King, Christopher Robin in 2011's Winnie the Pooh. Uh, he also worked on The Great Mouse Detective, The Rescuers Down Under, Lilo and Stitch, Home on the Range, John Henry, and more. However... He's got a magnificent mustache. Oh, yes, take a look at that stash. That, that's a Tom Selleck stash. Not bad at all. Um, but then, by 2000, Hen had returned to Burbank, just in time for the studio's transition to computer animation. This was an era of crisis for Hen who tried to adapt to CG animation on Meet the Robinsons, but found the process to be too alien from his approach to traditional 2D animation. In his interview, he spoke about this dark period in his career. From a spiritual point of view, from my worldview, it was very eye-opening because I didn't realize how ingrained being at Disney and being a Disney animator was. The roots were so deep that when that got threatened, it really hurt. It really hurt. I remember I called a friend of mine and I was just saying, I was just in tears saying, I don't know what to do. This is all I know how to do. And by the way, he was fantastic at it. But here is where we get into what I think is the disrespectful attitude of Disney. Hen accepted the role of elder statesman gracefully, though in interviews, one could sense the frustration with no longer being involved in the day-to-day -day production of the studio's features. In an interview on the Bancroft Brothers Animation Podcast, he explained his new job of mentor and how it differed from the role that Keen had had on Tangled. Again, folks, pay attention because this is how they treat their mentors, their geniuses, their, their elder statesmen today versus how they were treated in the past. The difference, he said, 
between that role and my role is that he could say, this is what I want to see in the movie because he was one of three animation supervisors. Whereas my role, I can't necessarily say, this is what I want to see, but I can say, may I make a suggestion? Mm -hmm. I think this might be stronger if this is how they treat their animators. Now, why is he retiring right now? Why is Mark Hen retiring right now? Well, folks, what I've been told is that Mark Hen was kept around for Wish, because Wish was originally supposed to be a 2D animated film. But I think this really speaks to why we see the quality of Disney animation collapsed in movies such as Wish and beyond, is because these people, uh, such as Mark Hen, they're the geniuses. They're the ones, he, he's animated your favorite movies. He's animated movies that will stand the test of time and which will be in the archives forever. National archives, the registry. And yet, he's not allowed to go in and say, you know what, you guys are going to change this and this and this because this works better. He's allowed to go into the millennials. He's allowed to go into the Gen Zers, right, the 20-year-olds, and say, um, excuse me, I, I, I don't want to offend you. I don't want to make you mad. I, I know you're 22 and you know how everything works. Maybe... Maybe we should do something different with Asha here. It, it doesn't look good. Oh, 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 it's okay. It's okay. We don't have to change it. We don't have to change it. I, I just want to retire. That's, that's the new Disney. That's how Disney treats their geniuses. And I thought that this was the perfect example to bring forth to everybody out there watching so that we could all see that. Uh, panel, your thoughts on this and what is hidden inside this otherwise unassuming article. I think it's a tragedy for the Walt Disney Company. Obviously, uh, they uh, under under circumstances ten years ago, it would be sad for them to lose an animator at the end of a long and uh, great career. And right now, I would say that this is a huge loss for the company, uh, and it's a shame that that loss is not more profound uh, to the company itself. Um, I there is nothing to be proud of with wish right now we're hearing stories from film threat uh they've got sources reaching out from disney animation saying that they only had three months to animate that film and that it was a grueling and horrible overworked three months where they brought in food so that the animators had no excuse to leave their desks i don't think that they had time to make a good movie but even if they had time if they're not willing to take suggestions which there are a lot of suggestions that could be had on wish um I, I I don't understand why they are accepting mediocrity right now. Jonas, what, what age is it that they force people out at Disney? Uh, is it 65? 65. Remember when we talked to another source behind the scenes about another Disney legend yes, that was that's forced true. out? That's true. And uh, which, Jonas, is, which is the dumbest policy for a company. That's what I was going to say. Is first, that first not all, utterly stupid? First of all, it's built on legacy. Uh, second of all, it is a company that uh, loves that multi-generational aspect. Third, uh, no one at the company is capable of producing the kind of things they need that are Disney right now. This is a this is a huge cultural problem right now. We've got a huge skills gap in America in general. Uh, obviously, the South Park Into the Pandaverse kind of hinted at it with the fact that no one even knows how to fix the door on their oven. But uh, if you have something so specialized as Disney-level animation, and uh, they've got the guy right here. They don't have the excuse of not having him on the payroll. Well, they do now. But uh, they didn't even have the excuse of not having uh, someone like this on the payroll. They just let this thing go to market uh, it, without, uh, without the wheels uh, properly bolted on to the car. Well, you know, I don't know of any other industry and I don't know of any other company that their policy is to run their geniuses out the door at age 65, even when they want to continue. And I don't know what Mark Hen wanted to do, but I know that I know that usually when you have somebody who's 65 up to 75, let's say, and if they really enjoy their work, they're also almost always the person with the most wisdom and the most corporate understanding and the ability to get things done. And the idea that you would run them out the door every single time is... I mean, that's just lunacy to me. And it really speaks to this idea of uh, kill the past if you have to. Uh, I, there's, there's two things about that. First is they don't think it's a loss. Well, that's, that's think, terribly sad. And, and that's the truth. 
But the second thing is what we're not seeing and we won't see in this story is he knows where the bodies are buried and he knows the difference between then and now. And the last thing people who are always right want is somebody who says, excuse me, but maybe not. And does, Culture, it, your with, thoughts? And does it with authority. Well, I wish I could say I'm surprised, but I've seen this more in Imagineering than even animation. Um, they're yes, able... and, and Tony Baxter comes to mind. Yeah, well, yeah, of course. But, I mean, even, you know, even a few other folks that I'm familiar with. You know... not, not much of a surprise, Culture, that Splash Mountain is looking the way it is on the interior when we know what we know about how they treated Tony Baxter. Yeah, man. And, and that's the other thing. I mean, I'm surprised that he was even allowed to speak to it. Um, as we all know here, if you want to be a legend, you're usually signed into some kind of a deal that keeps you from talking. Isn't, to isn't that funny? You know, everybody wants to be, a, everybody wants to, uh, celebrate the Disney legends. And what they don't know is often the, the term Disney legend might be synonymous with muzzled. Well, it does, almost always is now, but it's just, it's, it's incredibly frustrating. Am I surprised? Absolutely not. This has been happening for a very long time and and i i'm not sure cartoon bro even realized what they were writing here but, <laughs> no they definitely did not and, and and again i mean yeah i think about some of my friends that have run out the door at disney over the last five years and actually longer but specifically the last five years they're headed over to universal they're headed over to skydance they're headed to a hundred other places you know um sally corp and other places like that so and folks that's a wrap for today we hope you enjoyed this lesson. We hope that you take it with you, take it to heart. And if you know people who are capable of doing amazing things, especially if they have done amazing things, we'll spend time to listen to them and learn the things that they already learned so that you don't have to fail the way that they failed to learn those things. Because that is actually how we learn. All right, folks, one thing we could surely use here is if you like this video, consider clicking the like button, share, subscribe. And when you click it, you stick it to the algorithms. It's the notification bell. Drop a comment down below. Let us know your thoughts. And ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, keep learning, keep growing, and stay jolly.